Hi everybody, it's Jen here and I am filming my 500 subscribers giveaway. So I have been trying to think for the last couple of months uh, as my subscribers went up, what did I want to do for a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers? Um, you know, I was having a really hard time thinking of a challenge. Um, and then I decided that one of my favorite things to do when I'm stuck on something is to scrap lift somebody. So that's going to be my challenge to you. I would like you, as one of my subscribers or one of my new subscribers, to scrap lift me. So I have done 13 process videos for layouts and I think I'm on number 6 for Project Life. So I would just like you to scrap lift one of those. So I'm going to show you the 13 layouts I've done, um, and then, uh, but you can do Project Life or layouts, um, whichever one you would prefer. And uh, then what I'd like you to do is um, put a link underneath this video, uh, linking me to your blog or um, wherever you have your picture, or if you've done the process video yourself, um, link it up there, and then at the end, I will uh, pull a name and you're going to win a great prize. And I'm not going to say what the prize is just yet, but it's going to be pretty cool. And it will be scrapbook related, of course, and it will involve fun things, fun new things, which is what we all like, pretty things. So uh, I will just go through and show you. So this was my very first one. Um, this is a Christmassy theme one, but it's um, a grid pattern. Uh, and this was uh, gingerbread houses. This was my second one, uh, really large photo, fairly simple layout, coupled with the sort of the rule of thirds there. And then I got my little list here so I don't miss any. Um, this was my next one. This was a grid again. You can see that one and this one, pretty similar. I hadn't planned, if you watched the video for this one, did not at all planned for it to end up as a grid, but um, that's what happened. This is my next one. I was doing a challenge to have everything uh, mostly white um, and I had painted a whole bunch of things and I had struggled with this one quite a lot and then in the end I had switched around it a little bit and then I ended up loving it. My next one is this Valentine's Day one with four photos and there's two sets um, that I've, um, two, two of two that I've put on there in a grid pattern. This is the next one. Um, I was doing um, something I had seen a whole bunch um, that month with this circle pattern. I put down some um, splatter in the background with some packaging and then done a bunch of clusters all around the single photo. And then I did this one, the single photo, and I used the 6x6 six six, uh, paper pad. Um, as different mats and then I did this one with um, a die cut here you can see it in the background and then I had used strips of paper um, in a diagonal across the page and I did a little bit of stitching on here as well this one has three photos and multiple different types of fonts and I'm really okay with you guys taking whatever from these layouts that works for you. So you don't have to do it exactly the same. You might look at this one and just like the colors. Um, or you may do, you know, the photos over to the side or whatever. Or you might like how I put this vellum on here. But just take whatever you, whatever you want. It can be a literal scrap lift or it can just be inspiration scrap lift. So this one, again, I used a die cut. This one was my St. Patrick's Day one, so I did, um, this one was a challenge again to use, I think, six different types of green, and I did uh, multimedia on here, so there's, um, I rolled on uh, some ink, and I used a modeling paste that I dyed, and I washed on some color, and uh, I used green here in a frame, and lots of gold as well for this one. I know I have to turn one of these over, so I'm just making sure I don't miss it. Oh yeah, okay. 
Uh, and then this one um, was where I used a die cut as a mask for the background. Um, so I had used this die cut with all these hearts a while back and when I had sprayed it I had put another piece of paper underneath and then I had really loved how that ma it had turned out as a mask so I turned it into this layout and um, what I did is I put a little bit of gesso on the background just to soften it up right around these two photos. Oh and my my letter is falling I'll fix that after. Okay and then if I'm doing them in order this was the next one one photo I used a frame to put my journaling in, kept it really simple but laid down some uh, mist again with some packaging in the background and this um, background paper was already really sort of grunged up, it was a, quite an old one from my stash. And then this is the last process video that I've done, although I will have some more coming soon and I have done some Project Life ones in between. Um, I put a little bit of mist down on the background to soften it up a little bit because it was quite geometric and I wanted it um, to be softer. Um, my photos ended up being, um, I don't know, I was going to say, I don't remember them being like that. <laughs> I don't remember putting them on a diagonal. That just moved. Um, my photos, because all these blocks were very square, that's why I wanted to soften up the background a bit. and. Then I used uh, these three clusters and I put some sequins on the background. So those are my 13 layouts. As I said, take whatever inspiration. When you link up, I want you to say which one you used because I would love to see how you took them and how you interpreted them. So whether you do a literal scrap lift or you just take a piece of it, um, I'd love to hear um, what you took from that layout. So link up in this video, I'm gonna put um, a deadline on this for a month. Now it's real close to the end of April right now so I'm gonna say June the 1st and it gives you a couple of extra days and it gives you time over um, uh, National Scrapbook Day and then all the rest of May to get something in and then uh, June 1st I'm gonna gather all the names and I will get uh, will pull a random person to win a cool prize. So anyways, thank you so, so much for being a subscriber. I appreciate it immensely. I love reading all your comments. I try to answer everybody back. Um, I love feedback. And um, if you ever want to see something or doing something you don't like or you can't hear the video or whatever, just let me know. And I will promise I am working on the lighting because I know it's kind of crappy. But unfortunately, my scrap room is in the basement. So we're working on that. Anyways, thanks so much guys. I cannot wait to see what you guys submit. Thanks a lot. Bye.